What do you wish you knew when you started? Uh, or, or what would you say is maybe like one of your biggest hits for relationship marketing? I'll tell you what. Um, and I, I think everybody does this. You know, it, no matter if you've been in business for 20 or 30 years or you're now, <clears throat> there was this fallacy for local businesses or small businesses that in order to succeed, you had to, be, you had to go big. So you had to have a big yellow page ad or you had to be on TV or radio or you had to do you know, something big and it was big numbers. So in order to be a good, sustainable, good business that was profitable and could provide for you and your family, you needed to be big, you know? So everybody was just out there praying and spraying and doing hope marketing to see if they could actually become big. And the reality uh, ends up being that as small is the, is the new big. And so we took that offline, you know, you got to be on radio, you got to advertise, you got to do all that kind of stuff. We took that online and we, in a small business owner, we, we actually got that same fallacy that the success would be how many followers you could get on Twitter or how many friends you could get on Facebook or how big your email list would be. And I found that, the, the, the re, that when I looked at it, the reality, and I looked at my books and my numbers, and at the end of the year, I started looking back at what, how, how success or, 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 or opportunities I had over, that, over the previous year. I found out that most of my business came from a small group of people that I loved working with, that mm -hmm. loved referring me, that always brought me their business and always brought me their folks there. <clears throat> so the, the thing that, that I wish I had known early on was that it's not about big. It's not about having lots of things out there. It really is to create a good, successful business. Most of your business is going to be within, in many cases, 20 miles of where you live right now. In a lot of cases, a couple of, if you have a retail store or a coffee shop or something like that, maybe a couple of miles of where you are right now. So how do you get small? How do you actually really target? How do you get in the point where you evaluate your pipeline of, to your customer and you know that, let's say I'm a realtor. Well, then referral partners for me would be, let me just find a good painter that I can refer people to because I'll need a painter. Let me find a plumber. Let me find a landscaper. Let me find a mortgage person. Let me just find people that also are trying to work with homeowners or people that want to be homeowners. If I can, if somebody had told me, Pat, get focused, get small, look for one, get a referral partner, do great things with them, and then get another referral partner, get a customer, do incredible work for them, and they will probably get you your next customer. The reality, Martin, is Every time I would review for years, I, I, this time of year, I review the past year. What am I going to do going into 2019? I'm really trying to do that right now. But when I would look at that, all of my business really came from a small group of people or customers. And most of the complaints or problems I would have was, was, would be when I tried to get out of my lane. Mm -hmm. For the sake of just anybody that would do business with me and had a check, I would do business with them. And I wasn't focused. That's usually where I maybe didn't do my best work. You know, maybe I, I, I didn't have the correct connection with the right client. You know, maybe I wasn't a good fit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when I really got small, and so I, that, that was a long answer, but get small, really focus in, niche it. There are riches in niches and really figure out what you do that somebody doesn't do. What's the differentiator? Somebody had told me that I actually could start a business by getting a customer and a referral partner, just one, and then get another one. And pretty soon I'd have my five or 10 and I'd have probably a good six figure business income, mm -hmm. maybe be able to employ some other people. I'd have, I'd have gotten focused a lot earlier in my life. It took me a long time to figure out. It was focus, small.